Elliot here. Welcome back to part four of the Not So Berry Challenge for the Orange Generation. So right now we are just hanging out over here with our girl. She is feeling very, very tired and she's actually meant to be at work like right now. So let's get her to head on over there even though she is in like an awful mood. This will be really good for her to go ahead and just work really hard on that. So in the meantime, we have all of our friends out here going ahead and trying to die. We're going to go ahead and actually put them in a pool once she gets home to try and speed up this process because it is going to take a long time. Um, okay, you guys, turns out it's like Winterfest or something and Santa Claus or Father Winter is just hanging out in our bathroom with our cat Gacy. But she is about to finish work right now. Uh, she will not be getting a promotion and she also still needs to get some of her skills up. But she did do very well today. Let's go ahead and give Gacy a big hug. Oh, we need a comforting hug because we're feeling kind of sad. Let's go ahead and do that before we head outside to our chamber. And oh, we're going to bring our cat as well. Okay. Uh, hopefully Gacy can, can get back out. Um, I don't want Gacy to get involved in any of this. But oh. Okay, let's go ahead and find someone who doesn't hate us yet. I think this guy. Let's go ahead and argue with this guy. And go ahead and try and get him to hate us. Let's go ahead and fight him real quick. And then we're going to go ahead and... Oh, okay, I guess we'll trash talk that guy. Let's go ahead and declare him as our enemy. Okay. Yes, I hate you times 100. I do not like you. Yes, now we're enemies. Awesome. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we have three declared enemies. You know that what that means. That means it is perfectly okay for us to try and murder all these people now. So what we're going to go ahead and do is install a really itty bitty pool. Now we can't do it out here. We have to do it in here. Olivia has been kicked out of Fight Club. Wait, what? <gasps> we just got kicked out of the club? Um, okay. What? That is crazy. I didn't know we could be kicked out. Um, all right, girlfriend. Let's go ahead and have everyone jump into the pool. Okay, then we'll go ahead and have her teleport out. And then we need to go ahead and position some things so that now he can't get out. Did my cat just teleport? Okay, good. <gasps> you guys, she just obtained an atrocious reputation. A reputation like Olivia's can elicit strong reactions. Other sims that she encounters may display strongly negative reactions to her mere presence. With such an outright terrible reputation, it can be difficult building bridges with other sims. Bribery is the answer. Bribe other sims for their friendship, bribe bosses for a boost in job performance, money solves everything. Finally, Olivia might as well lean into the reputation she's established. She can throw her very own lampoon party. Just try not to make the guests of honor laugh themselves to death, okay? Um, okay, great, cool, yeah, sure. We have a very bad reputation. Um... All right, uh, you're so notorious. One of my unscrumptious friends has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? I mean, yeah, sure. We we do need to get pregnant at some stage. Like we need to get pregnant and have a uh, and have twins. So we wouldn't be too bad to meet somebody that we could do that with. Hey, Olivia, I've heard a lot about you. Mostly bad things, but that's okay. People don't usually like me either. We should hang out sometime. Yeah. How do I say yes? Brittany Chu. Do I know her now? Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and send her a text, I guess. We'll go ahead and text her. And go ahead and give her a chat, I guess. I guess that's the person that our mum gave us the number of. Okay, guys. She is about to finish work and get a promotion. So let's go ahead and see what happens she's been promoted to a minor crime lord she now makes 32 dollars per hour she got a bonus of 804 dollars and she got some new clothes which is pretty awesome she goes to work very soon so let's go ahead and head in here real quick i wonder how everything is going in here oh my goodness you guys this guy just had his birthday whilst in here oh my goodness if they don't die of like exhaustion or drowning or something soon they're gonna die of old age jeebies I just also want to point out the status of our apartment right now. There is like so, oh my goodness, so much going on. 
I feel like if our landlord came and did an inspection right now, we would absolutely get kicked out. This is disgusting. How can anybody live like this? Okay, I think we're going to have to go ahead and purchase some fireworks or something because this is taking way too long. Okay, guys, we are about to light some fireworks and hopefully kill some people. Hold up. Real quick, we're going to go ahead and teleport Olivia out of there. Get out of there, girlfriend. Oh my goodness. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Reset. No, no. Uh, quick. No, no, no. Extinguish yourself. Extinguish yourself. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, she got out. Oh my goodness, but now the fire went out. Okay, we need to try again. Let's try again. We've still got two more fireworks that we can try. Okay, uh, let's get her to go ahead and teleport here and then light this and then teleport straight out. Teleport out, girlfriend. Okay, yes, she got out. Okay, yes, people are burning. Uh, can you please go ahead and... Oh, she can't even have a shower. Just, just go in the bathroom, okay? We are going to watch here and see if anybody either drowns or burns alive it looks like burning alive looks like the quicker option oh my goodness he's freaking out in the pool he's like oh my god what's going on you guys okay wait actually she doesn't want to be in the bathroom she does want to be in here because she wants to be able to witness it right get in here girly okay she's in here but hopefully she's safe uh and also hopefully these people are gonna die she's like you do not smell good <laughs> okay let's go ahead and watch this happen Oh my god, it's spreading. Ah, I'm not happy with that. Go over here, go over here. Okay, um, hopefully it doesn't spread too much. Oh my god, all of our furniture is going to catch on fire. <gasps> no, no, no. Okay, okay. Um, can you like extinguish that part and then stop? Oh no, we can't. Okay. <gasps> yes, two people died, two people died. Okay, quick, extinguish the fire, extinguish the fire. Extinguish, extinguish. Oh no, our cat tree burnt. Okay, we witnessed the death of a sim. Oh my goodness, and all she can complain about is how cold she is. Great. Okay, let's go ahead and I guess we'll eventually introduce ourselves to the Grim Reaper. But for now, we got $12 in insurance. What? Do you see how much is damaged? This alone is $500. <gasps> okay, stop witnessing that. Let's just... <gasps> Enemies despise from witnessing the death of an enemy. The death of a loved one can be traumatic, but the death of an enemy brings nothing but happiness. Sims laugh at their tombstone. What? Oh my gosh. Even that is like too far for me. I'm sorry. Like, you need to get help if that's how you feel. Oh, he was an alien. Okay, that is kind of fun. I have a lucrative opportunity for someone who doesn't ask too many questions. I need you to hold onto a stack of simoleons. I'm planning to launder until the trail turns cold sure it might not be legal or moral but it will help line your pockets you in yeah let's go ahead and take the money we're a criminal we don't care let's go ahead and <gasps> wait i didn't want to miss work miss work wait what i can't go back oh i just wanted to like delay work so i could fill up the food bowl i can't choose to go back to work wait what have they changed that what that's stupid okay well i guess we're skipping work today um all right i guess we skipped it to meet up with the girl to launder the money maybe we could say okay guys we just got an invite from our mum, and it says hi olivia i'm hosting a secret lampoon party it's a private gathering of the best of the worst your awful reputation is so notorious around these parts that we'd love to have you as a guest please say you'll join us um okay I'm not sure what a lampoon party entails, but here it says, here's some tips for a more successful event. A comedian needs a microphone, host needs a refrigerator counter and an oven, and you will need a microphone to lampoon the guests of honor. What? Okay, I think that I went ahead and got everything we needed. Uh, also, I think that it's just like us and our mum. This is like kind of awkward. I don't know if literally anybody else is coming. Wait, comedian. And this is a, a no one. I mean, oh wait, guests of honor. Guests. Okay, wait, more people are coming. More baddies. Okay, with this comedian here, well, let's go ahead and watch his performance. Um, I don't know, like, what what is this? Oh, who are all these people? The guests of honor. A guest, a guest. I mean, I guess we should go ahead and introduce ourselves. Let's go ahead and 
uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just just go ahead and just have a deep personal conversation with him. Like, who are these people? This kid looks like twelve. Um. Okay, I guess these are like our friends now. Should we like make like a lampoon club? I guess our mum was just here to like support us because she doesn't have a bad reputation, does she? Like, I think she's like a fine lady. Like, I don't think she's a bad person. Um, let's just introduce ourselves to everyone, I guess. Wow, there are a lot of like people who look like they're just like middle-aged mums here. Like, these ladies up here look like they shouldn't be bad people. <laughs> but I'm not sure. I don't know what qualifies here, you know? Let's go ahead and make a resolution with her once we can. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and make a resolution for her. Maybe to get promoted. We do go to work tonight, so maybe we could go ahead and get promoted uh, tonight. That'd be really good because it would really help us out. We'd be at level 6 out of 8, which would be awesome. Oh my goodness, Paige White, who was the girl that our dad was like cheating with when we were growing up, she is a guest at this like bad people party. She is the worst person actually. It is very important that we go ahead and introduce ourselves to her. I don't know if she'll recognize us because we are a lot older than when she last saw us. So maybe we could go ahead and like tear her down, like go ahead and murder her as well. Um, Oh my god, we just have like two drinks in our hand. <laughs> oh no, she's feeling sad. Freezing to death. But we're inside. What? Um, wait, what's this? Go home. No, let's just... I think the lampoon party is over. I'm not quite sure what happened. We'll have to go ahead and plan our own one time. But for now, this... This looks scary. What is going on? Are we like having like a a stare down with this girl? Like, okay. You guys, Gacy aged up into an elder cat. That is so cool. I didn't realize. <gasps> Cedric, our dad passed away? <gasps> Wait, what? Our dad? Our father, he passed away. That's so sad. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look how sad we are. Oh my goodness, this is the worst New Year's Eve ever. <gasps> okay, she went ahead and... she get promoted? No, she just had a good day. Oh, she had a bad day, actually. She's very close to being promoted. She should get promoted the next time she goes to work because, um, oh my god, our cat really needs to go to the vet. We can probably afford to take Gacy to the vet now, so I might go ahead and do that off camera or at the start of the next part. But in the next part, we will certainly be working on the aspiration more, getting more and more promoted. I did go ahead and buy her an oven, so we're going to go ahead and work on her baking skill more and more. Maybe now that her father's passed away, she's decided to re-spark her interest in cooking. And then eventually we'll go ahead and maybe in the next part, find herself a lover so that she can go ahead and get pregnant with twins. But until next time, I hope you have a very snazzy day and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.